Are you rolling? No. Okay. Uh... Okay. <laughs> rolling. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't use that, Regine. No, just kidding. Just got awkward. Don't look so I'm awkward. quiet. Hi, Mr. P. I heard the good news. Good riddance. You're retiring finally. You're really old. And, uh, <laughs> um, but all joking aside, I was sad that you are retiring. I was sad. It sucks because I still wanted to come in and surprise you and bother you like I always do and throw things at you and stuff. But, um, yeah, I was glad to have you as a teacher twice, 107 twice. 107 was a great class. It, uh, it felt like a class, it felt like you had a sense of togetherness with just everyone, every student, no matter if they annoyed you or not, you still had patience with all the stu students and um, taught us a lot of things. I don't remember what you taught us. So that's the sign of a good professor, right? Yeah. When you're retiring finally, you're like 400 years old. Um, you know, you, uh, PCC is going to miss you, especially the TBR department. You know, you were really one of the best professors I had at this college, and I've been here for billions of years. And um, you just knew how to keep your, keep your cool around just all types of people, whether they were students that annoyed you, or who annoyed you, or students who just wanted to really push themselves to learn all the equipment in the studio. And I really appreciate that, you know, there's not too many people out there like you who are just, just naturally kind, you know, just always smiling and stuff. And, um, yeah. I'm glad that I got to be a student of yours for two, two 107s, right? Yeah, 107 was the class that really sealed the deal in me wanting to pursue something, in, a job in TV. And the way you brought together just everyone, it's that togetherness of a TV crew, you know? And it was nice, just like, you know, we had our own little studio and, uh, it felt like a community in that little area, you know, was, you could just pass by, you'll see anyone, and especially you, sadly. Uh, <laughs> you're always willing to help students who needed help with, you know, lighting or audio or even life stuff, maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing. <laughs> you'll really be missed by everyone, you know, it's sad to say like, oh yeah, go to PCC, you know, check out you know, Mr. P's class 107 or TBR7, but I can't, I won't be able to say that anymore, sadly, you know. You're not that old. Don't, don't retire, Mr. P. Come on. Retiring is for wusses! <laughs>PCC for about a year now, um, about a year since I have uh, since I last was there. Well, let me start out with uh, the beginning of my time at PCC. So, going into PCC, I wanted to become an editor, and, uh, and you know, that's, it was pretty much set on my mind, that's what I was going to do, I was just going to go to PCC, get my post-production certificate, and just you know, be done with it and be done with school and just start working. Um, until I took your class, your TVR7 class, that summer in 2009, about about six years ago, and um, and you know, I think it was your passion for studio work and you know, for with your energy and everything that made me change my decision and wanting to be just you know, an editor, um, like, you had so much energy and so much liveliness in 
the studio and doing studio work that you know it actually made me want to change and become uh, a TD you know and I uh, and taking your classes really made me enjoy the studio life and enjoy the people around and you know it taught me so much you know it even taught me so much that you know uh, I found an opportunity to actually TD the next the next couple of semesters and I remember one thing one thing one advice that you did give that really stuck out to me was um, you have to be overconfident you have to be always 10% overconfident in what you can do to in order to get the job and in order to do what you want to do and that really stuck with me because you know I see it now that it's it's really great advice and you know if you don't know something you say you do know it but you better know it by the next time somebody else asks and and that's another thing that you know really stuck with me and you know just those little two little sayings or little pieces of advice have took me so far and and I don't think I would be anywhere close to where I'm at right now if it wasn't if it wasn't for you and it wasn't for the program you've done so much for so many students you know your your teachings are the value uh, are, are priceless pretty much <clears throat> you have so, you have done so much for students that your teachings have become priceless you know you've helped so many students with with um, advancing you know I'm sure if you sum up you know amount the amount of potential for all of us that you know have went through your program is most likely over millions of dollars you know and just just to know that you know you're retiring I mean I'm happy for you but it just it makes it, it, it makes me sad because uh, there, there won't be students that are going to be able to experience, you know, Mr. a Mr. P class, you know, and just your name is just always going to be ringing through the, the basement of the, of the C building, the, throughout the whole department, you know, I think for at least 10 years people are going to be talking about you, you know, and um, I know your wife will still be there for some time. Uh, I knew that uh, this day was was gonna come, you know, sooner or later. You know, I didn't expect it to be sooner than later. Um, I expected if you know to be able to come back, you know, when I when I had the chance, you know, and you'll still be there teaching, you know, young kids, you know, young adults on etiquettes of the studio, not to step on any baby toes you know, like the, the cables of the studio and, uh, you know, not to move the cameras while balancing. You taught each and every one of us so much, you know, we can, we can thank you, but it, all of this won't be, it won't be enough, you know. Um, I thank you so much for everything that you've taught me. Hey, Mr. P, it's Jeff. Uh, before I say anything, I just want to introduce you to someone very quickly. This is Erica. It's Melody's long lost sister. She's a bit of a diva, but uh, she has her good moments and bad moments. But uh, anyways, so I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for us over the years, helping to grow this community of film students who've now kind of become part of my family. And uh, uh, it's gonna be tough to see you leave even if I'm not at PCC anymore. You've definitely helped hundreds, even thousands of students along the way. And for that, we're forever grateful. So uh, good luck with everything else you do and I uh, hope you have a bitchin' retirement. See you later. Hi, Mr. P. Um... Sorry, I haven't been dropping by uh, to visit, but 
Justin had told me that you're retiring, and I was actually really shocked when he first told me. I can't believe you're retiring. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to happen this soon, actually. I thought I would have more time to go back and visit you. But yeah, I'm actually, now that I'm thinking about it again, still in, in shock and don't know what to say. To put it in simple words is thank you. Thank you for everything you've done, and then thank you for everything you've taught me. I don't think I would have made it this far if it weren't for everything that you've, you've taught me in class, everything that you've told me, you know, pers personally, like with your experience and then your advice on what I should be doing or how, how, how to move forward to get to where I am right now. I don't think I would be where I am right now in my life if it weren't for you. I remember being lost three years ago, not knowing what to do with my life. And then, you know, going home, sitting down, um, thinking what I should do. Then I looked at the classes and I saw your class, the uh, operations class, TVR7, and I thought, why don't I give that a try? That's something new and something never tried before. And I think taking that class has changed my life. Um, I remember the last class we had was we had to do the newscast for each each group had to do a newscast, and I was the director for that for that production. And at the end of the last take, you came up to me and you gave me compliments on how well I did. That was the first time I ever gotten compliment from anyone. Like, I don't usually get compliments on how, how well I do or how, well, how good at things I am. I'm usually the person that's just quiet and then, and just not knowing what to do but you were the first person that told me I was good at something and that made me feel like this is probably what I can do, this is what I should be doing. So that compliment you gave me changed everything and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate everything you've taught. Me, you making me your TA, I think that's also a big change to, for me. You making me being her TA, that was also a big change in my life. That made me realize I can actually, like I know enough to be able to help you teach students. And that's, you know, that never, that feeling's never, I never felt like that before, like know enough to be able to teach someone. It's always, it always has been other people teaching me. So being your TA, you know, obviously made me feel even, gave me even more responsibility and made me feel, it helped me grow. So I really appreciate that opportunity also. And there's just really much more that you've done obviously, but I don't, there's just too much for me to say. But in the end, it's just really a big thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. P. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I would not have been, I would not be where I'm at right now if it weren't for you. I appreciate, I'm pretty sure my whole family also appreciate everything you've done and all the students that you've taught. I think you'll be greatly missed at PCC. PCC will not be the same without you. In fact, I probably won't be able to, it, you leaving has given me even less of a reason to, to go back and visit. And yeah, I really hope I'll be able to see you sometime soon, even after you retire. Maybe I'll see you at the track. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your retirement and enjoy all your time that you have with enjoy all your time with your family because you deserved it, Mr. P. And thank you again for everything.
Hi, Mr. P. This is uh, Justin, Justin Aranjo. You know who I am. Uh, anyways, uh, right now I'm kind of lost at words right now. What to say? Uh, I heard you're retiring uh, again. Past you're hearing that after the past couple of days still feels pretty surreal. Uh, like I can't imagine uh, PCC without Mr. P. Uh, you ask anybody, uh, past, present, future, whether they be students of PCC, whether they be uh, working professionals out in the business uh, that are alumni, like everybody associates Pasadena City College with uh, Mr. Pareka. And I hope you know like, how much success that you've given a lot of the students. Like I could think of a lot of good names that come off the top of my head. Uh, that'd be Cesar Martinez, Jenny Chen, Donald Williamson, uh, Joey Miranda, uh, myself, just so many students uh, owe you a lot, uh, your teachings. Again, this is really hard. Um, like, uh, there's no, no other simpler way to put this, but thank you. Uh, thank you for all you've done. I've been over at the college for probably about five years. And in those five years, I've gone from uh, this punk kid that took your wife's class and you had to step in for one day uh, to teach lighting. And then from right there, I just got hooked. I'm like, I want to take that guy's class next semester. How can I do it? And the only way I could do it was one do well in TVR7 and then follow up and apply for TVR107. So once it came to 107 time, I thought, oh, this is, this is great. And the first day, uh, you didn't know who I was because I was the only Mrs. P uh, student. Uh, and then following like a couple other occasions, like I'm just messing around with cameras and then all of a sudden, who's touching those goddamn cameras? I'm like, eek, uh, that was me. Okay, well, we're kind of balancing them right now. Like, I, uh, I remember that because it was just like, I, I was afraid to do anything, but I wasn't afraid to touch equipment because I wanted to touch it so bad. I wanted to learn stuff already right off the bat. We were only in the second week, uh, but anyways, I want to go on from, I was uh, this kid that you did not know uh, to somebody who's, a lot more mature now, uh, or a little, at least more mature than I was before. Uh, I want to say I owe you a lot because you've uh, inspired me. You've made me a person who's a lot more, who carries a lot more responsibility on his shoulders. Uh, and just in general, the knowledge I have, like I would not have it. Had I not taken your classes, had I not gone through the program. Uh, when you asked me to be your TA, uh, like I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. Like uh, this guy wants me to teach his class. Like he trusts me that much. Uh, again, it's uh, it's a cool feeling to have. Again, I mean. Before that, I never really had a real job, and that actually, I count that as my very first job. Uh, again, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Uh, then uh, one of the funny things, I just want to touch base on this one time. Uh, when you're talking to me in private, uh, you're saying like, uh, oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna teach uh, my wife's class uh, tonight or tomorrow night, because obviously we do Monday, Wednesday, but anyways, you're gonna teach your wife's class. So uh, I said, cool, what are you doing? Lighting, oh, cool. You know, when I took your wife's class, uh, like you showed up during the lighting, and he's like, why well, do that on purpose? 
I ask, why so? Because when I show, when I demo uh, lighting to her class for that one day, then everybody's gonna be interested and wanna take my class. Then, you know, light bulb went off in my head. Uh, but I like to think that even had that been like uh, not on purpose, not planted, uh, you still would have gotten a lot of response. Heck, you, st you get a huge response from that just by doing that. Uh, I remember the time I told you the news that I had gotten a job freelancing at TVG. Uh, I was still TAing for you and I wasn't sure like how I was going to mix the two together. Uh, I, I still want to TA for you, but I just got that you right off the bat, you're like, go ahead, you've, uh, you've got it, you've made it pretty much. That's what you told me, like, don't worry about it. We got someone to cover it. And uh, I, again, I thank you many, many times over the years and I keep, uh, again, I just can't stop thanking you for all this stuff that you, this, all this cool stuff that you've done for me. Uh, I can't imagine PCC without Mr. B. It'll be different because you open up so much to the students. The students want to give back afterwards. What else? Uh, whatever's next for you. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy time with the family. I know you have a lot of time with them. Um, come on down to the Santa Anita tracks. Enjoy horse racing. Probably maybe catch uh, one of your students over there on the occasions. You've done well. Thank you, Mr. P. Hey, Mr. P. I can't believe your time at PCC is coming to an end. Still very much in shock and have no idea what the TVR department will do without you. Welcoming students into the studio. Um, I signed up for 16A which is not even your class, but I mistakenly went to the studio for Miss Staub and found you instead. And you personally walked me over to your class and told me that I was going to love her and fall in love with television. And as ever, you were right. And I did, but mostly through your enthusiasm for television. All of us TVR students are forever indebted to you. For me personally, I wouldn't be where I am today without you. You encouraged me to be creative again and believed in me and told me that I could do it and I am doing it. And I will never be able to say thank you enough. And I think we all feel that way. And are very sad that you won't be able to <laughs> encourage more students but what you've done has been immeasurable and though you're leaving PCC you will always be remembered thank you so much so what can I say about Mr. Pereka? Um I'd have to say he's probably the most if not the most one of the most motivating teachers I've ever experienced um, in my school. I don't think I realized um, uh, what a motivating teacher is until I met Mr. Pareko my 
very first class that I ever took at Pasadena City College for TVR. And um, at that point, it was interesting because I was really at a crossroads where I didn't know what I was gonna do, where um, I was on a track to become a teacher and it was put on hiatus for the most part because budget cuts hit really hard and they wouldn't accept my application because of budget cuts. So at that point, that's where I decided, let me just venture and see if TV production could be an option possibly. And so that's pretty much how I stumbled into Mr. Pareka's class. And once I took it, I just fell in love with it. You know, it was just the, t it was just the information that I got from there. And most of all, it was just the enthusiasm and the charisma that you get out of a teacher like Mr. Pareka. And it's, it really inspired me. And he made me feel it would be possible that I would make it into this field. And just the support and such that you get from a professor like Mr. Pareka, it really is just like, like it really is just like nothing else, I would say. And um, PCC is definitely going to lose. Um, such a great asset because um, anyone that goes to that school, I really do recommend that like they should take a class with Mr. Pareka because then he will definitely motivate you and inspire you to fall in love with the whole field of TV production. And as much as it's, it's a shame to see him go away, I'm very happy because he'll be able to just enjoy the rest of his time with his family and his loved ones and such and he'll surely be missed and you know honestly like I don't know what um, you know like I'm still a little baffled that he's not gonna be there anymore but I only wish him the best and I all I can really say is that thank you very much Mr. Pareka for inspiring not just me but several other students that you have inspired for the past 37 years, you've said. And um, yeah, thank you very much and have a happy retirement and bless you. Hey, Mr. Pareka, it's Sean. Just wanted to say thank you so much for everything you've done for the TVR department and for us TVR students. Thank you for the encouragement and the enthusiasm and of course for sharing your knowledge with the craft. You've really made a difference. So again, thank you. Hi, Mr. P. Congratulations on your retirement. Hopefully you'll have lots and lots of fun. And I learned a lot in your class. You taught me a lot that I really didn't know too much before. And thank you for teaching me a lot of discipline as well as knowledge in TVR. Thanks for being awesome and fun too. Hi, Mr. P. I just wanted to say that it's been an honor and a pleasure to know you. You have such a kind heart and such a kind soul, and I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to learn so much from you. I wish you all the best. Mr. P, I would like to thank you for being so energetic, caring, and passionate about your craft. Students like myself can spot from a wide angle when a teacher is out of focus. I would just like to say I am so very grateful to have been one of the many students to have been able to grow within and under your bright light. Thank you, Mr. P. Hey, Mr. P. How's it going? So, Mr. P, we heard a nasty, gross, disgusting rumor that you were leaving us. And then, even worse, we heard that it was true, and that was the biggest blow to our hearts. Not because we don't think you deserve a break, but because that means there is a whole massive generations of students who aren't going to get the same amazing teaching that you provided all of us. So we're totally going to miss that. You taught the most bitchin' lessons, Mr. P, and we'll never forget them. And they're going to help us so much in our career going further. And it's great. So, Mr. P, man, we're going to miss you. Hi, Mr. P. Sandy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, okay, I'm a little nervous, but I wanted to tell you that you have made like all the TBR classes so 
such a like easy flow through all of them and I like always would get overwhelmed with like all the material but you always put us at, at ease and that's so awesome and I'll always remember all your like I don't know <laughs> teachings I'm so sorry okay I'll pass it over hi Mr. P this is Verdiana um <laughs> You always learned my name, so I appreciated that. Um, not a lot of teachers did. And uh, you're patient, you taught us a lot. Um, we're gonna miss you. Um, a lot of uh, great memories in your classes. So much that I repeated it. Um, thank you. Have a great retirement, Mr. P. We're gonna miss you. Hey, Mr. P. It's Joey over here at American Idol. Hey, I just want to say congratulations on uh, your retirement and I uh, just want to thank you for everything you've done for us. Uh, it's, it was you who, <clears throat> who made this possible, who uh, you know gave me a good uh, idea of what I could accomplish in this industry. And uh, hey, I'm here because of you, so I appreciate it. And uh, have a good uh, retirement and I'll talk to you soon. Hi, Mr. P. This is Regina Lorena. And I just want to say, Thank you so much for being the most wonderful teacher that we, I got and we got in Pasadena City College and one of the most influential person in my life. You taught me so much about TV and its fundamentals in working in TV and the discipline of it. And so I thank you and I know everyone thanks you for that. And just one thing, I apologize for being always late all the time on 107 or 7. I didn't drive at that time and so I would have to leave my house at 5 to go to 7am, 107 class. Anyway, I just want to point that out. But uh, I remember one more fun story about you was the little iPad. Never dull moment in Mr. P's class, and I will always take a, take it away in my life that you taught me so much, and I am so grateful for that, and I am so lucky to have taken all the classes that you offered, and I will never forget how you let us shine with your encouragement, and you find you try to find the best in each of your students. And for that, we will always be grateful. We love you, Stephanie. And to do this, just for you.